Matthew 27 to 50 minus 53 KJV Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. In the days of Jesus on earth, the holiest part of the temple was covered up with a veil, and only the priests had access to it, and petitions were channeled through the priests to the Most High. But according to the above scriptures, the veil has been torn removed through the sacrifice on the cross of Calvary for you and me to have direct access. Romans 5 to decay JV by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Ephesians 2 18 minus 19 KJV for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. The above scriptures simply means your access to God is no longer hindered. That whatever petition or prayer request presented will be speedily answered. Because the veil of obstruction has been turned into shreds. Including the veil covering your eyes of understanding has also been removed. Ephesians 1 17 minus 19 KJV that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us ward who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. God has made provisions for you to be delivered from all forms of oppression. And if after reading this message you are still being oppressed, at whatever level, be it national, institutional, family, or association, you are either an accomplice or resigned your fate to squalor. May God give you understanding. Do have a glorious last day of November. Eid.